this video, I'll show you how to use this membership tracker that I built in Google Sheets. So as you can see here, this is an example of what you would get if you are using this tracker. First of all, we have a tracker at the bottom. So you can track your members ID if there is and the date they enroll and their full name the member type whether they are new or they are a returning member then where do they come from do they come from your facebook youtube or any other sources then we can also see if you want to track their nickname you can do that otherwise if you want to change this to any other field like for example if you want to change it to company name and we have the email address this is just some mock-up email address that I entered and then the phone number the address um, if you have a subscription or a program you can track them over here and you can totally change the selection here by going to the settings here you can set up your members type which I shown earlier, which is new and returning. You can also change the subscription, which is over here. We also have a membership status that I haven't already covered, which we have sign up free trial, subscribe or cancel memberships. If we go back to the example, you can see that we can track when do they start subscribing and when is the end date. And then the price of their subscription, this could be a total um, price. Like for example, if you are charging for yearly membership, this could be a yearly price. If you are charging for monthly instead, this could be an indication of monthly price that they have to pay. But it's totally up to you how you want to use this uh, column. Then we have membership status, which I just mentioned. And then this membership deal is actually um, calculated automatically based on the end date of these members. If you can see here, the first one is actually expired in 14 days. Today is 22nd March, so this is actually lesser than 14 days. So it will show it in a red color. If this is a future date, then it will show as active instead. Then if we scroll to the right, you can see that we have this uh, monthly tracker going on. This is actually to track the payment that your members made. So for example, if Jessica made a payment for June 2022, you can tick it here. And this column will automatically calculate how many members has already paid for that month. You can also do it, uh, for example, if this 12 months is already over and you want to track for new ones, you can double click on the cell and it will open up this calendar. You just have to select one of the day. For example, you start from January 2023 and then the second one we can go for February then if you want to apply the changes for the entire 12 columns just select this two and then drag to the right and this would be a new year for your membership tracking you can also change this to other metrics for example if you want to track the attendance instead you can change it to attendance record and here would be a monthly view of the attendance. If you look on top of the tracker, you can see that there is a mini dashboard where you can see the total numbers of the members break down by the membership type. And we have the total earnings that we earn from this membership. And this would be the monthly rate at this column so if you sum up this one you will get the total earnings then for the membership status you will have a breakdown of how many members are currently in the free trial and how many are currently in subscribe and how many has already cancelled their 
membership then you also have the earnings um, by each members so for example this one would take the total of 160 and divide by 8 we have 8 members here so you get the 20 earnings per member and then we have like the subscription by each member so you can see that which membership is the most popular among all your other memberships then you can see a breakdown of your sources and the payment status so that's all you can get from this tracker and at the left hand side let's say if you want to check for a specific member you can search for their membership type by clicking on this all over here and then clear all first then you can type in the id for example this is one click on this um, selection and then click ok there you can have um, this particular member and how is their payment um, attendance record or its payment um, or let's say if you want to check for a certain program for example you want to check all the members that are currently in their membership tile one can click on that and filter your dashboard so that's super easy to do template is available in three different colors we have um, pink we have also a blue color or I don't know <laughs> is it between blue and green and then um, we have also black and white kind of team so you can choose your favorite or if you want to edit them it's also very easy to edit you can come to the format go to team and then click customize here you can change up the colors if you want to change a color you can see that um, it's very easy to change it if you need so that's how you can change a color and if you want to change the font type for example all this font type it's also very easy to edit you can come to here and edit them from here last but not least if you want to add your own logo you can go to insert and then go to image insert an image over the cells click on this and then you can upload your image of your logo from the here click browse it to the google sheets that's all thank you so much for listening if you want to get this template there's a link down there that you can grab and purchase from there